Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to World of Horror, the RPG roguelike that I'm very excited to be back to here today. We are going to be going in to investigate some mysteries here. I've already taken my morning bath. All is, well, not great in the town, but we're going to be going out to hopefully solve some mysteries and clean it up a little bit. We got three mysteries on the board that we can pick between. The Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlit Sailors, The Horrible History of Household Hell, or The Bloody Brief of a Beckoning Bulletin. I gotta be honest, I'm most excited for this one, so I might actually save it a smidge. Let's go for The Bloody Brief of a Beckoning Bulletin. As the decades roll on, technology has almost only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board software allows computers to communicate over the phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anybody can connect to a bulletin system or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all the messages on that bulletin. Are you talking about a form? And even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics, everything from video games to sports to idol culture. But in the wake of sudden string of weird suicides, there aren't things aren't all fun and games. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind these? How could so many people be driven to take their own lives? This is grim, but hey, welcome to freaking Halloween, dude. Uh, even if the rumored bulletin system's phone number is found, there's no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school library has one that will work. So if we investigate the forest location twice, we'll complete a quest as well. I think that's something we're going to want to do as well. I think that is a thing. Drooping tree branches hang over the path, framing it in an almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. Get lost in thoughts or get a grip. Inspiring? I'll get lost in thoughts, I think. Minus two stamina. Oh, we failed the charisma check. You get lost in your thoughts and fall into a hole that was clumsily covered with branches and leaves. Who set up this trap and for whom? Well, that's not great. I would rather have that go down than my uh, my reason. My guess is if we would have, you know, been successful on that check, it would have been all right. A sudden blast of heat grabs your attention. An older man is standing next to you and screams in pain as he's engulfed in fire from seemingly nowhere. As other people start to panic and help the burn victim, you spot a hooded woman standing in the distance. When she sees you, she starts to run. You can't shake off the feeling that you were the target of this supernatural attack. Pursue the hooded woman. Oh my god. Failure on the dexterity check. We suck, man. The hooded woman disappears behind a corner, and when you get there, she's gone, already mixed in with a the crowd. They fail to stop you today, but... You're sure they'll try again and again. So we gain two Doom. Doom is a thing where when it theoretically hits 100, uh, I think we just instantly lose. So we have to keep that in mind and manage it a bit, which is like something that goes up if we explore a lot, take too much time in places. Uh, after searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a note. Oh, God. I write this for everyone. This What the heck? Life, the sacrifice is worth the life's meaning comes from our relationship, share death, and that connection will outlast you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone here is waiting for you, so if you lose your resolve, just listen to the voice of humanity. What the hell? What is this? Should I put it in my storage? What a grim freaking thing this is. So I guess we'll go to the library. We have that. Maybe that's going to be useful for... There's multiple different potential endings. Study the current mystery. Doomed to gain spells. Recruit allies. Learn gossip. I do think... Let's... um Check the library. Many of the books you can find here were donated after the accident at the university building. Make notes. Study old tomes. I do want to try this. You carry out a few books to the main reading room. You decide to make some notes about subjects that could be relevant to this case. Hopefully all of your work will not go to waste. Return the book and go back. Oh my lord, this, the music is going crazy with it. You feel the gaze of the librarian? 
I mean, I'm, I'm down to leave. How do we get out? Or do we have to, uh... Hmm. Do we have to do another thing? Return the book and go back? And exit the library. Oh, I, I thought it said, and exit to the library. That's why. Gotcha. So there's no way to... As soon as you've said, okay, I'll go back to the library, you can't leave from the library. That's interesting. All right, let's investigate. We've, we've bumped up our doom a little bit too much there, but oh well. So how are we doing? We do have a we have a nicotine rush. You enter the art workshop. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging from the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Oh lord, I'll check out the masks. One mask looks similar to the design you once saw in a cult book. You decide to take it with you. Do I have it? Wait. I have a mask with me then, huh? We've checked these. Interesting. Well, the school's library computer does not have a modem. You happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. She apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arrange to meet her at home in the city. I mean, I'm down to give it a shot. Doom is at 21%. That's probably fine. We've, you know, we're down two mysteries. We have three left. That should be fine. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wanted to sell it. In the envelope, you find a key to his apartment. I have no choice but to help my friend. I don't have a light source. Strength check success. You find another letter behind a wardrobe. It explains that the reason your friend left was that the shadow people were stalking him. You shudder when you realize you haven't seen the moving company truck driver's face. Well, I'm glad we are good. You lug the cardboard box full of PC parts up to your apartment stairs. Up your apartment stairs, teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. That damn computers are heavy. All right. Hmm. Let's check our neighbor. Kana's not home. Yeah, I wonder why. Bing bong. Bing bong. Maybe we'll find her again. I do kind of want to check for uh, another, you know, friend at some point. I think that was at the school. Oh, my lord. Mask festival? I mean, I... Uh... As you glance around, you notice there are more and more people that are wearing strange masks, unlike anything you've ever seen before. As you turn to your friends for reassurance, you notice that this, that some also wear these eerie masks. Their voices sound muffled and distorted, and you can't shake off the feeling that they're not quite themselves. The hairs on the back of your neck stand on end, and you realize something has gone terribly wrong. They are preparing for something. This can't be healthy. Are they hiding something? Oh, Lord. They're preparing for something. Oh, no. A sense of dread creeps over you as the mask people are swarming through the store, filling their carts with food for survival equipment. You notice the goods prices have already skyrocketed. You realize that you need to act fast if you want to have any chance of survival. Minus through funds. I was not expecting that that event would take my money away, of all things. But okay, I now have zero funds. My money stat is in at zero. You wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. The newscaster on the TV says that the raid is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in other nearby towns, so you need to act quickly. Yeah, this is probably not a mission where we should just, like, explore around the place just cuz. I think we should probably get a move on. We do have- what was the spell that we have? That we can cast deal three damage oh to an enemy gain two stamina but lose for reason we're getting to the point where that actually might end up being a good choice we also have 80 experience and there's corpse dust which is gain 20 experience but lose two luck sell this item for fun can i sell a branch no a branch is not worth any money is the note the library notes are worth money. What about this? Yeah, we can't sell this terrifying uh, note. I'm going to keep it with me just in case. 
Mr. Ooh, your neighbor is a horror manga artist. I remember we, we tried what? Share your experience, but we had like a struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. Let him come up with his own stuff. What's that picture? Uh, you catch a glimpse of the painted thing and suddenly you feel very weak and excuse yourself to leave. Something truly evil has you in its grasp. What does that mean? What did- what does that do? Something truly evil has me in its grasp? Does that mean anything? Hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital with how many deaths there have been. The hospital's in chaos and the staff looks exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down onto the desk for a minute, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. Ah, yes. Investigating a hospital. That is top of the list of what I'd like to do right now. Yes, sir. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. Oh, I don't have this branded like cattle. Are they preparing for a feast for their eldritch masters? Plus four doom? Oh. One? What is- this is from the- Oh, no. From the picture, the drawing. One question mark? That's not great. That's ominous. Doom is suddenly at 29% too. Oh, my lord. You overhear two nurses talking about a girl whose attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering at her grandparents' home at the village in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying nearby. Oh my god. I am I am starting to crumble away here. But I'm going to take her home. You offer to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face from behind the door that she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. That is ominous. Okay, I was I'll say I for some reason I did think that uh she was the least of the worries was the little girl. But all right. I'm in... I'm in danger. As you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students leapt in front of a train, hand in hand, at the same time? You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching down the village streets. Uh, yeah, can we move faster, please? Feeling hungry, you've entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special. Made with today's catch. Just where the hell did those fishermen go? No way you're going to eat that. One bite won't hurt. Oh, boy. Here's the thing. Why do we live here? If every single place we go and every single thing in every single situation can possibly, like, kill us, why do we live here still? I mean, we move here for work or something? I'm going to say I'm not going to eat that. The smell of the dish almost makes you sick and you run out of the ghastly restaurant. Minus one stamina. Oh boy. When you find the girl's house, her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your effort to stop the deaths. Forgive her, her grandfather says as he leads you to her bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. Oh boy. No one answers when you knock at the Professor Takuchi's door. This is odd since he's usually punctual about his appointments. The smell of blood tells you that something's wrong and you quickly open the door and enter. There's no sign of the professor, but the quantity... Oh, we got a level up. But the quantity of blood everywhere leaves little doubt about what happened, but how and why. Alright. Um, Yakuza card. That feels right. I could spend my point to get an upgrade to one of these. My main stats, or I could... I have a reason for stamina trade thing, so I guess maybe we do that. One additional slot becomes available in all the shops. Remove the illicit tag from all items. Plus one perception, and you have an eye for art details or natural ability to guide others. Charisma. My charisma is already pretty good. My knowledge is pretty bad. Art, art knowledge doesn't give me knowledge. It gives me perception. Interestingly enough. This is... 
This is tough. I think I'm going to go for the reason because, like, yeah, again, since we have the spell that lets us trade some reason for stamina, I feel like that's okay. We can have a little bit higher there. I think that's okay. And so that's instead of these, which is a little bit of a bummer. I feel like, yeah, our, our charisma's already so good. I don't have any illicit items. All right. Scavenge the room for useful items or search the room for clues. Knowledge failure. Unsurprising. You search the room but can't find anything. The sound of the police sirens forces you to jump through a broken window and you're injured. Oh, God. We have an abdominal cut. I'm going to click it. Fair warning. It's probably going to look like an abdominal cut. Oh, it's not that bad. Minus 10% to your maximum stamina. That's not great, but it's also not that big of a deal. The re recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the bulletin's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as you her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? Disquieted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. It's bad time to be out of cash, says the grim-looking man who's standing in your way. Our company, fortunately, specializes in cases like yours and will gladly help you get back on track after all. He takes a step closer and you could swear there's a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. A jar of blood, your fondest memory or peace of mind. Oh, God. A jar of blood's going to be stamina. Which one of these is reason, and which one of these is something else? This sounds like experience, maybe. Nope, that's that's reason. Everything suddenly gets dark, you feel sad, but you can't tell why. In your pocket, you find an envelope with cash inside. Minus three reason, plus two funds. Oh boy. Investigate the computer. As soon as you arrive home, you dial the number and put the handset onto the modem. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums and you hear a brief dial tone, and then it finally connects. On screen, welcome home. Did you like it so far? Just listen to the voice of humanity. I'm going to say yes. I'm glad. Take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. Remember the note. You recall the note you found? Could this be the voice of humanity you read about? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear words or a voice. You soon understand that they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Everyone is here now. We've escaped everything that held us back in life. We don't have any more burdens. You can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence, a paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We'll bring all of humanity together. You need to think carefully about how to respond. You can't save everyone. Suffering is human or I don't want to die. I'm going to say suffering is human. How can you believe that? Well, okay. If you want to suffer, go ahead. Your consciousness dips. By the time you snap out of it, you're strangling yourself with the phone cord, but the entity assaults your mind. The struggle brings out strength you didn't know you had, and you refuse to die. Minus five stamina, but 15% max stamina up. You listen to the staticky signal on the other end. It's harsh to your ear, but then the noise begins to slowly change into something beautiful, and you want to join it. Oh my god, I have to fight the modem? Can I shoot the modem? So what is... Minus two to all? Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to probably need to use my spell. Okay, so my spell is absorb. Deal three damage and gain two stamina, but it costs four reason. I think that this is 100% worth doing right now. That levels things out a little bit more. So that helps. Dodge. Dexterity base. I mean, we're not great at that. 
Spiritual action. What do we got? Clap. Bow. Pray. Attack boost. Your next attack has a an additional 10% chance to hit. We currently are holding a stick, yeah? A branch. Five damage with a 56% chance to hit? Still have a nicotine rush. Okay. 56% chance to hit. And it also takes more time. I think we just try and go for four kicks. But let's do some math here. Four, eight, twelve. I mean, six, sixteen if we're completely successful across the board. Which would be... Unlikely, but possible. Turn two begins. If we can successfully just kick all these... Oh my lord. I punched the modem. Resolve combat. You wrench the phone from your ear and nearly tossing across the room. Oh my goodness. Sweat pouring down your face, you immediately yank the computer's plug from the socket. From the bulletin's number and phone book, you find the system operator's address. When you enter the cramped apartment, you're met with a smiling... Teenage, oh my gosh. Hung teenager and they still running unplugged computer. You smash it to pieces and with the root cause gone, the suicide's eventually slow. While you couldn't save those already in the thrall, you are relieved to know the bulletin won't take any more new victims. I will say, as grim as this all was, I think it's also the most successful like mission end that we've had. So that's crazy. That's saying something. My stamina is in hell. The old God stirs. The rest action is now less effective. I do have, um... Another padlock open. Go back home. We should get another key. Got key number number A, excuse me. Uh, okay. So same deal. We have nine stamina and eleven reason. I do think we still go for extra reason. Since we can do that trade, you know? TV, we're cut off. The town is cut off there. Peep through the Nope, nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in storage at this point. I don't, I don't think we'll need that. Oh my lord. I think we're probably gonna die if I'm gonna be honest. But that feels fitting anyways. Okay. We still have the nicotine rush, which is impressive. Horrible history of household hell. Let's go to the Moonlight Sailors. The sorrowful saga of the Moonlight Sailors began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean. A dark writhing ooze that mesmerized him beyond, beyond control. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it. Not to be seen until one moonlit night when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away, a single lantern swinging at the helm, and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Now more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile ooze in their nets, and one by one they are disappearing. Soon the ocean will have taken them all. Discard two items. You know? Oh, the demon, the, the mask went to storage. So we can only have four things. Plus one damage. Minus four to max stamina. Well, what's my max stamina? Do I even know? I'll put it on. I don't I'm not at my max stamina. Why would I care right now? But I think we can probably discard this. Unless it doesn't let me. I'll trash that. And we'll trash that. You found a huge pile of nets and hooks prepared for the big hunt. You quickly throw them into the ocean. Maybe that'll stop them from sailing out. Okay. 
We'll definitely pop that in storage. There's a chance I want the corpse dust. It's 20 experience, but we lose two luck when we use it. You start your investigation hoping to overhear some rumors at the fish market. Heal injuries. Uh, My injury... Dis it's my max stamina. I don't care as much about that. Uh, yep. Yeah, what else we got? Threat level. Bad decisions like running from enemies and reading occult books can raise a location's threat level, making it more dangerous. Don't want to do that. Cost of doom to enter. Funds for items. The hardware shop. Manage threat level experience into funds. The hell? I'm gonna do. Oh god, but I don't have that much funds. All right, officers at the police station are busy working on various weird cases. You stop by. You stop by a young policewoman. How can we help you? Request more police patrols in the mansion, the hospital, downtown. Trade 11 experience for one fund. I'm going to say sure. Because I would like to go to the thing next. So where, we're, where are we heading? We don't gain doom by entering there. We're going to be going uh, downtown. I mean, we're already there. Okay, so threat level decreased in downtown. Minus one modifier to all skill checks. Low threat. So doomed to enter, but we can buy something because we're probably going to need it. One dexterity for the current mystery. Backpack, two additional inventory slots. Steak knife. A random discounted item for two funds. God, I don't know, man. Extra perception? I was hoping for something that was going to heal me in some way. This could be useful. Three damage. So what does the branch do? Three damage, 90 speed, chance to hit 70. So speed 72, that's definitely better. It's a dex weapon, though, and this is probably a strength weapon, and we do have slightly better strength. I don't know, man. I guess, um... I'll get the salt just in case, I guess. All right, let's investigate downtown. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. When you reach for the package, you stop suddenly seeing a familiar face in a nearby advertisement. Something truly evil has your scent now. So this went up to two? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Although you brave the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact that this fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. Two question mark. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery, and the shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Confront the stranger, continue looking, or run in terror. Oh, boy. No, I don't think that any choice that I have is good here. Perception failure plus doom. Uh-oh. You can't find the right tombstone and waste a lot of time before finally admitting defeat. Well, that could have been worse. That could have gone worse. 2% doom. We're at 39. When you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering in through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. The round window of the crooked manor towers calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. Get lost in the light. Fight this feeling. Charisma failure. I suck, dude. 
You don't have the strength to move a finger. The blinding light is growing larger and larger. To your shock, you can't feel the ground underneath your feet. Minus one reason. Again, it could be a lot worse. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. The temperature abruptly drops and you shudder in the icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland and a sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb and freezing. You have to move. Check the icy coast, move towards the pyramid, or give up. Oh, no. Oh, and we also have uh, nicotine withdrawal now, which sucks. That is a... Our attacks in combat are now slower. Fine. Strength failure! The frozen coast uh, guard corpses watch you silently as you cut yourself with the razor-sharp edges of the ice. I'm probably dead, dude. Minus one stamina every investigation. And frostbite, minus two strength. Holy... Costume to enter. Oh boy. I feel like the skull is observing your every move. The emergency department is crowded. It is a direct, direct result. Wow. Of the weird ha things happening in your town. But yeah, there's a lot. Finally are asked into the doctor's office. Now, how can I help you today? Additional actions are now available on your injury cards. Minus two funds for surgery. Treatment. One fund for that. Minus one stamina each investigation. I mean, if that's every search, we can't have that. Blood loss. Yeah, that makes sense. Figured. All right, well, can't fix the other stuff. I guess I'm out of here. 43%. Things have started to get very bad, unsurprisingly. But I can't just leave that cut open. The fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen, mutilated and covered in black marks. Oh, my lord. I guess now I want to know what peace of mind is. Peace of mind is doom. Gotcha. So that's not great. 49 doom, just like that. Surely someone else must have caught one of these. You lurk around hoping to spot one of them. To the seaside. Surprised we haven't been there yet. This is apparently safe. All things considered, we're still like... Our stamina and our reason is pretty similar. The town's docks are a mix of modern warehouse... Modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where alternative crowd gathers. I kind of want to pray at the temple. Last time I know that that gave me plus reason. Okay. Doesn't matter if you believe it or not, the smell of burning incense, the old wood calms you down. That's super helpful. Finally getting a nice thing. It could have been different. We could have gotten a, a negative, you know, check, or we could have done one of the other ones. A young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies as he caresses his catch. The beating movements of his arms disturb you. Walking on the beach, you spot a weirdly colored rock. Seems to be covered in some sort of black algae. Getting closer, you realize it's not a rock. Drowner Sponge. It does three reason damage. And has 27 health. If we are, like, really lucky... Oh, God. We can only do three kicks a turn because of the... Uh, so, 4, 8, 12. If we're extremely lucky... If we're lucky, we could kill in three turns with that. Attacking with a weapon could be a better idea now. That's 10. No, 80% chance. It's not better. 138 time needed. 6 damage. There's no point to do that. Look for an improvised weapon. Not right now. Reduce your experience by 5 and raise your chance to hit by 10% for the rest of the entire encounter. Stamina or reason has to be lower than 3 for us to do something. Drastically lowers the hit chance for the enemy. 
Regain a reason for the cost of two stamina. Brace for impact. I think we have to try and run. Can we still do that? Doom penalty? I mean, that's sur sure as hell not going to be that beneficial. After slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. 56% doom. I mean, if we look at it like this way, where we are halfway through our fourth out of five missions and we're only at 56, that's not that bad. When we think about the fact that we've jumped from like 21 to 56, that's pretty bad. Investigate. You decide to enter a small shady bar in the docks. Maybe some of the old fishermen can help you on your quest. However, persuading them to do so might be difficult. It, seem, it seems very relevant to the situation. Seaside at night event. Oh, boy. I don't have a whole lot of money. I can't afford another... Charisma failure. You're asking too many questions. Everyone's nervous and you're thrown out. Minus two stamina. You slip out at night and race towards the beach, terrified of what comes next. Investigate the beach. It looks like we've got something going on. We threw the, that stuff into the ocean, but apparently that didn't help us. The full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink... Oh, we probably would have... If we would have been successful in that, maybe. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only audible sounds are your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge breathless. The possessed fisherman's boat fills the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. You can't make out the figures on board. It's not the sailors. The black beings must have left their bodies. Shocked, you watched them sail their way out of the harbor. You're terrified at their power, but relieved that they did not drag their meat puppets with them. The black beings never returned, yet mothers would not let their children play on the beach. Over time, people forgot about the last time they saw a boat out on the waves. Although some claim they see strange beings come out in the port at night. So that is absolutely like an unsolved situation. We do get a reason and stamina back, thank god. We get 15 experience. We're getting close to another level up. Uh, or thorough investigation. So I think a thorough investigation is if we do the uh, the bonus mission. There's still hope. It gives us minus four doom. So old go. Oh! So we didn't get the level up yet. What is this? Using firearms as melee weapons. I don't have anything with that. Dexterity. There's always a way out of a seemingly hopeless situation. That sounds very like something I want to do. I think we grab five stam. Unfortunately. Old God stirs. What happens? Local scientists are baffled. An unprecedented aurora-like event has bathed the entire town in unnatural green glow. The reason cost of all spells has been increased by one. Okay, so we really definitely have to keep that in mind. Uh, absorb, probably less good than it even was before, and it was already a little bit, you know, on offensive if it was that useful. Okay. Got another key. So how do we go back to the lighthouse? Start a new mystery. Not yet. Hmm. Weird. Nothing happens. Oh, huh. I don't know about that. Okay, so we definitely... Let's go. The shower will help you calm down and do wonders for your sore muscles. What temperature should you give it? I do think I still go for... I think I still go for reason. Because we have the ability to do a trade. I'm going into this next one so much better. What the hell? Peep through the peep. Oh... Probably just my imagination. Again. Just, you know, just seen it like eight times. We checked our neighbor. Eh. Go back to the town screen. Gotcha. What could possibly go wrong there? Okay, go home. Out we go. 
Final Mystery. The Horrible History of Household Hell. There are many old mansions around this town. Ooh, Manor's one of them. Supposedly haunted by a family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer. But is it, is it the only tragic event that took place there? Surely. Friends you talked with are not sure where the mansion's located itself. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library may shed some light on it. Investigate the seaside twice to complete that quest. I'll do it. Now that my strength and my, or my stamina and reason are like in a little bit better spaces. Oh God, that pair has been following you since the morning. You finally managed to lose them, but can't shake the feeling that it'll only get worse. Oh no. What does that have to relate to? So that's 12, sta 12 stamina just like that. I'll do one more investigate. We're, we're going a little bit above and beyond here, but... A heat wave continues to record temperatures. Continuing your investigation takes more and more effort. You learned the cliff of the... Wait. You learned the cliff the mansion was built on is famous for its extensive cave system. You decided to rent some books that might help you. Architect's Journal. One house owner, however, decided to make use of the cave tunnel... It's a natural concert hall, he claims. An article covers a group of scientists from Tokyo. They were exploring and mapping weird cave formations found in the cliffs. The search of the missing team of scientists continues. The only clue so far is a code written on the cavern walls. 439 hertz. That is definitely going to be useful. I feel like I'm going to pop that one. I don't know if having it on my person is going to be relevant. But cost doom to enter. Let's you know what? Let's try and recruit an ally. Share creepy story. Forced to help you. Sounds strange, but I believe you. I mean, I have leadership plus one luck. I'll help you. Minus one perception. Carrie smiles faintly. Okay. I mean, I'm a, I got the leadership. Plus one strength. Okay. Access rooftop. Do I dare? Should probably leave her alone. Set up a telescope. Oh my god. I'm gonna just... Well, there's more people here. Give me a break. You're always such a kidder. I mean, I have so many. Okay. Friends you talked with are not sure where it's located. We, we've not investigated the school yet. So we have so many allies now. This door shouldn't be there. It shouldn't lead anywhere. More importantly, it shouldn't pull you in. I'm going to resist. Oh my lord, my stamina. I need to get into combat so I can trade four raisins for two, or maybe even five reason? For two stamina, apparently? Is there anywhere I can go to get stamina back? It didn't look like my, my current stamina changes when my max stamina changes, so I don't know if I need to care about that. Cost doom to enter, regain stamina and reason. I'm gonna do it one time here. Plus two stamina. Oh no! You take a short nap on your bed. You sit on a couch and read your favorite book. What? What's that? Something evil now knows where you live. Time flies by so fast. You prepare yourself to leave and continue your long investigation. Plus two doom. And we're at three up there. That, does, that sounds bad. We're at 62% doom. But if this is the final thing, then maybe that's fine. Oh, no. That's not good. The museum started hanging up posters promoting the Greek art exhibition. Oh, unaware of the danger, the opening night might prove to be the last night for all of us. Ithotu is coming, and you now know the date. Gotcha. So, our, our god that we kind of, like, had... Oh, my... Comparing different mansions with the sketch, you finally find the one. There's only one problem. You'll need a strong rope to enter the mansion through that high window. Do I need to go to the hardware shop? This doesn't... Oh, it does cost Doom to enter. 
The fact that I've got that on me now, I'm, I'm terrified. The waves lazily wash upon the shore. You take a deep breath and the fresh sea air clears your head. A good thing happens just for once. You make it through the window. This is an abandoned mansion your friends talked about. Let's explore it. I mean, I got so much reason now. It's unbelievable. The question is, is this going to do something that instant kills me? Following a suspicious person, you enter an old rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and only has two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Oh, man. There's nothing important here, but you think that you might be able to use the one item you find, an empty bottle. I do know we can, like, fill it up in the shower at home. You heard a weird noise coming from the locked study. You must find the key. Check a mansion's room to explore it. I think I'm gonna... Oh, I can get a bottle for it. Uh, yeah, a co or a coin for it. I think I, I'm i gonna do that just in case I lose two funds and then I have like a, the random encounter again. So, the key must be somewhere in the study. Click a mansion's room to explore it. Oh my. You went to the art workshop. I can just check out the masks again if it's truly just like... Oh, it's a different mask. Faster spiritual actions. I'm gonna sell that. Just like, for safety, I wanted to not mess on that one. Oh, lord. How many... Is there not that many events at the, uh, the mansion? You enter a room full of wooden statues. You're amazed how realistic some of them look. So realistic. In fact, you could have sworn that one of them blinked. Oh my. Hi there. The Pillar Vampire. Minus two reason damage. I feel like I can deal with that. We have a bunch of allies now. Ask your ally to distract them. If successful, faster combat action for the duration of this encounter. If failed, lose a random ally. I mean, I'm, <laughs> don't tell them, but I think that's fine. Okay. The Pillar Vampire has been distracted. So now we can probably go for... We can still only do three. Can we do three of these? No. Can we do... Oh, man. That didn't even... It didn't even end up really changing anything. Order your allies to attack. S roughly six damage with a 97% chance to hit music. It's got a, such a small loop this time. So if I go for that, it's 12 damage at best. Which is a little bit spooky. So let's do this. Oops. I meant boom. Increase the chance of that hitting. Can I fit another one in? I could. Boom, bang, boom, bang, bang. Prepare, kick, prepare, kick. Nice. Those all hit. So you're down to nine. Here's what I'm a little bit concerned about. You're doing reason damage here. Feels like my weapon should be... 97% chance to hit on this. So I guess this is the time we go prepare. Prepare, strike, prepare, strike. Goes up to a 100% chance to hit. We can even do, like, prepare, pair, strike, prepare, pair, strike. Not that we need to. But it over overflow kills there. We lost a decent amount of reason there. Not great, but maybe we'll get the experience. If we get up to 80, I, I will pass my luck item. I'll do that trade. I don't mind. Looks as if one of the previous owners of the mansion liked to read. Dusty tomes reach the ceiling. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare a minute to look through the books. I, I, I'm at 75 Doom. I don't have time to this for this. I really... I don't. I need to move. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into the local inn, stitched an unsuspecting guest together. What the heck? Her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? I'm gonna go... Hi. 
Luck success. You found an item. Sewing kit. Plus three stamina, minus one charisma. Uh, that is absolutely a usable tool for us. I'm happy to have that as an option. I'm just getting destroyed here. Hearing shuffling sound coming from behind the wardrobe, you decide to push it out of the way and discover a niche in the wall. Someone has put three dusty dolls in there. When you try and reach and grab one, however, they jump out giggling. Oh, God. Minus two all damage? 80% chance on that one. I mean, what's the likelihood? So basically, I would need to go success... I would need six successes, which is not very likely. I could do bang, bang. Yeah. And then I could do... The puppet matron starts climbing you. Oh, God. And now I think we maybe do the spell. As messy as it is. Which I don't like it, but it also guarantees that we get the success here. We don't even need the prep. 100% still? Yes. So that does 10. Oh, that's not good. All, all of a sudden, my reason is is pretty, pretty messed up. The investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. Need the hot bath perk. I'm just gonna say yes. Plus one reason. Thank God. Thank God. Why we were taking a bath in the middle of investigating this manor? You aren't sure what to expect. The sturdy door to the study. Opens with a creak. The dark, dusty room is empty, but something feels wrong. A faint draft, perhaps? You move the rotten carpet aside to reveal a secret passageway cut into the cliff rock. Following a strange song, you discover a hidden passage that leads you into an underground chamber connected to the sea. You can't find the source of the sounds, but then it hits you. The acoustics of this place make the waves sound like the most beautiful serenade. Mesmerized, you step closer to the stone altar at the end of the room. Explore more. You try and explore the side corridors, but it's too dark if only you had some source of light. I need a freaking flashlight. I needed a freaking flashlight. I had all the other I had the other information we needed, but we didn't have a freaking flashlight. Unholy chance coming from the caves connected to the mansion mansion must have driven the family insane. With no connection to the outside world, they fed on what they had themselves. However, this doesn't explain the fresh corpses and wet tracks around the altar. Hmm. They're still hoping, if you say so. We got a new level up. So it looks like we might be doing something. Items in the shop are cheaper. Using firearms as melee weapons does more damage. Plus one perception. God, hit me with the freaking reason. Skipping the line at the hospital costs you more. Step one. Get the key. Go home. Uh... Take a bath. We gain one and one. Do we still go for a reason? At, even at this point? I think so, especially considering we have this sewing kit. Forest notes, salt. I think we keep all that stuff just in case. Of that final mystery. Let's hold on. Let's go back to the town screen. Go to the lighthouse. What could I? I have no idea. I've opened all the padlocks. Enter the lighthouse. You made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things that. Whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place, and you should run away from this place as far and fast as you can. You're, or you're afraid there will not be a way back as soon as you start climbing those stairs. Uh, 
Uh, wait, do I not have a... You're saying there's not a... As soon as I do that, there's not a way back, but you're not letting me... What could go wrong? Can I, I can't leave, though. That would imply I had a choice. Oh, well. Up we go. You're stopped by a girl wearing a dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for her bag. It's too late anyway. You instinct instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in her hand, and you have to think fast. You try and talk her into allowing you to pass. It's too late anyway, she whispers again, letting you continue. This delinquent girl nods sadly as you pass her. Okay. Following the winding staircase, you stop. Wait a minute, someone's been taking photos focus on you. These photos include the enemies you fought with. There's something wrong, but you can't precisely say what. Select the second enemy that you fought in this run? It's not together. I don't think it's the Burning Man. If only I had video evidence. Let me think real hard. Okay, so I think I was right, and I'm not gonna- I, I scrubbed really quickly. I think that this is correct. Correct answer. You get 10 experience. Oh my lord, I didn't realize there was like gonna be a quiz anyways. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your path. A cable that should be powering it currently is disconnected. The power box itself is covered in the weird, moist goo. Inhaling the fumes make your eyes itch and water, but nope. But to power the gate, you'll need to discover a faulty plug. Ow. Strength failure and not enough strength. You're surprised at how much... Oh, strength failure because we just didn't have enough strength anyways. As you force it, the weird goo burns your fingers. And finally, you manage to separate the faulty plug and connect the proper cable. With a buzz, the gate opens. Does the goo have something to do with the, like... Are these having to do with the different... I don't know. We'll see. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's a lock. You notice electric cable seems to connect to the other... The door to a hole inside the central pillar. If there's a switch inside, you'll have to risk getting cut by the numerous shards of knives. You managed to locate... Oh, I mean, we just... We were just successful. All right. So far, so fine. Climbing up the winding staircase, you're stopped by a masked man wearing an expensive suit. The rules have changed, Kilo. He says, taking the jacket and the mask off. Nothing personal, really. The ultimate opportunist. He does three plus three doom damage. So we need to do. We need to do 12. Oh boy. So yeah, 80, 80, 80. We have to do six successful 80% chances. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to. We're going to start with that and see where we're at. 88 doom. I think with that being the case, oh my, God. <laughs> how could I, how can he never get punished? How can he never get punished for that? Just taking three 80 percents. Following the winding staircase, your, someone broke into your apartment, stole all the clues and newspaper clippings and pinned them here. The more you study you, you discover you can't remember any of them except one. Select the title of the second mystery. What? I'm so confused. Because it, it's this one, but... It's just listed twice. Okay. <laughs> you rip the newspaper clipping of a case you seem to remember underneath it, a tiny button, and you press it, and whoop! The dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Do you arrive? Did you arrive too late? As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you're relieved and collapse onto the floor. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You've managed to stop the ritual awaking the Eldritch God. But what's done is done, and it'll stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right once more. So congratulations, because you're safe for now. What the hell, man? We just did it. We were just successful. Congratulations, you survived. I, I was only on initiate. Uh, in this run, you managed to solve five mysteries, saw 28 new events, encountered five new enemies, unlocked three new achievements. Incoming Doom, 89%. Dang, man. We rocked it. Whoop.
And by rock that I mean it was really scary there for a couple times, but we, we managed to make it through. It's a really neat game. I don't know. That my my big thing coming back to World of Horror right now is what, like I know last time I did not do a full like kind of complete little run. It's absolutely something I wanted to uh, to do this time. So hey, there we go. Whether or not we play more, it was entirely up to just like to you guys. We'll see. I'll take a look. If you guys want me to do another run, I could like possibly be convinced. It's the perfect game for kind of the spooky season here. But yeah. I'll just analyze. I'll see how well uh, this does, how much you guys enjoyed it. Uh, but I had a lot of fun exploring something that's obviously like a little bit different than what I normally cover, but not far. It is a roguelike, but I'm a big fan of kind of like choose your own adventure style games. And this is kind of in that realm. I mean, I have a choose your own adventure podcast for God's sake. Turn to page podcast. Go check that out. Um, so, hey, it was a lot of fun. I really liked it. Alas, alas, will we will we be back tomorrow? I'm not I'm not sure, but I feel satisfied uh, with that run for sure. Uh, what a good game! What a cool idea. My only fear with it would be like, okay, well, once you started to see a lot of the same stuff, since it's kind of event based and you kind of, I mean, I, in a way, you do know the outcome of the events, but since there is that extra die roll, you have to be like, okay, I know this event. If I click this, it's going to be this die roll. So it turns into a different type of game. It turns into a full-on resource management uh, game. But I really, really like playing through it, especially this kind of first time where all this stuff is fresh and new, learning about these different mysteries. Some of them are very dark and very grim, but all in all, like, game good. Game very good. If this is your style, if this is your type of thing, dude, this game is probably 10 out of 10 for you. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for World of Horror. My name is Retromation. Cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.